We begin in the Middle East, where both Israeli forces and Palestinian militants have stepped up their attacks in the worst fighting seen in years. The UN now warning of the risk of full-scale war. And here's a look at the intensity of the violence, an entire tower block flattened by Israeli airstrikes in Gaza. At least 35 people have been killed there. And Israel says Hamas has fired more than 1,000 rockets since Monday, killing at least five Israelis. The UN Security Council is set to hold an urgent meeting on Wednesday over the unrest. Sirens fill the night sky over Tel Aviv. From their rooftops, terrified residents watch the missiles descend on their city. Israel's famed Iron Dome defense system, overwhelmed by the sheer number of rockets launched by Hamas from Gaza. Israel's prime minister pledged revenge. Hamas and Islamic Jihad have paid, and I tell you, they will pay a very heavy price for their aggression. I say here tonight, their blood be on their heads. Israeli airstrikes have been pounding Gaza. Here, a building housing Hamas officials is felled by Israeli bombs. Neither side is willing to back down. If Israel wants to escalate, we're ready for it. And if it wants to stop, we're also ready. If they want to remove their hand over Jerusalem, we're ready. Despite Israel's sophisticated defenses, Hamas's primitive missiles are more than a mere nuisance. They've taken lives and destroyed property. But Israeli airstrikes have extracted a much heavier toll on Gaza's population. A final goodbye as these relatives bury their loved ones. The U.S. has taken the lead in calling for a peaceful resolution to the crisis. We are deeply concerned about the escalation between Israel and those launching rockets from Gaza, and we call for restraint and for calm. Israel has the right to defend itself uh, and to respond to rocket attacks. The Palestinian people also have the right to safety and security. But in such a tense situation, the right to safety and security for all sides remains an elusive goal. Let's cross straight over to our Jerusalem correspondent, Tanya Kramer. Tanya, tell us more about those Israeli airstrikes in Gaza and the rocket attacks on Israel. What's been happening there? Well, as we've seen in the report, it has been definitely a very uh, difficult night for the residents in Gaza, but also for the Israeli residents under, you know, uh, the uh, rocket attacks. Now, uh, there has been a very intense uh, uh, air bombardment uh, from the Israeli military overnight and especially also in the early morning hours on Gaza. We understand that two uh, um, residential high-rise buildings in uh, Gaza were targeted, but also many uh, institutional buildings like police stations in Gaza were damaged or uh, destroyed. Uh, the destruction there is still assessed according to uh, local sources in Gaza. At the same time, we've seen since last night also so a major escalation by Hamas and the Islamic Jihad by launching rockets towards the center uh, of uh, Israel, including uh, Tel Aviv. Um, according to the Israeli army, over a thousand thousand rockets have been launched towards uh, Israel and the army says they have uh, targeted over 500 sites in the past uh, day, uh, day and a half uh, of these hostilities. But of course, those numbers are changing uh, by the minute. Now, Tanya, there's also growing tension between Arab Israelis and Jews on the ground in Israel. How serious is that? Well, that's right. Uh, we've seen already a lot of protests here in the past uh, weeks uh, in in uh, mixed cities, or especially uh, towns with an Arab-Israeli or Arab-Palestinian communities over the issues related to East Jerusalem, namely the pending eviction of uh, Palestinian families in a Palestinian neighborhood in East Jerusalem. But the particular focus right now is on the city of uh, Lud, where we've seen uh, a, a lot of violence between some members of the Arab community there and Israeli police, and also between 
between residents of the of uh, the, the two communities living in the city and that has been fueled by the shooting of a young man on monday night uh, from the arab community by a jewish uh, resident president um the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has now uh, declared uh, the city uh, in a state of emergency and has uh, ordered reinforcements in the city to restore calm, as he said. Okay, well, with all that happening, uh, the UN, as we mentioned, is warning of full-scale war that could break out. What efforts are being made to prevent that? Well, we have heard a lot of statements now also by uh, the United Nations and the international community uh, calling for the de-escalation. It is unclear at the moment uh, whether you know both sides have an interest now at this particular time uh, to de-escalate. Uh, what happens usually, what we've seen in previous round at least, behind the scenes mediation efforts are usually going on between uh, um, brokered by uh, actors like Egypt, Qatar, and the United Nations and others uh, trying to mediate between the uh, militant factions in Gaza and Israel. But at the moment, you know, it's not clear uh, whether this is happening uh, um, and what kind of political maneuvering, what space is there uh, to end uh, those hostilities at that particular point now in time. Tanya, thank you. That was DW's Tanya Kramer in Jerusalem.